an RSA? An RSA stands for Residential Support Assistant. We're basically hired by the union just to stay in halls with all the first years and just look after them. Run fire alarms, all first aid trained. How do you apply to do one and what do you need? The university usually send out an email to every student who lives in Hall and see if they want to be an RSA. And then you're obviously invited to an interview and if you get through the interview, uh, you obviously get invited to training and then you're in the job. You've sort of got to be pretty level-headed and you've got to be able to put up with a lot of crap off people. Because um, obviously some of the students don't see you as a student yourself, they see you as staff, so they're going to give you some stick every now and again. You've got to be a team player because you've you work as a team, helping each other out. What course do you do and how does it affect you? I'm in my second year of film and TV. It doesn't really affect the course that much, but obviously with film and TV you have a lot of film shoots and stuff. But because you work as part of a team, your team happily fill in for you when you need it, and then obviously you fill in for them. Every Wednesday I'm on duty, so I log on at 8 o'clock using my radio, which links me straight to the campus and also every other RSA site and also the travelling car. So I log on at 8 and then 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and 11, you do a round which, which, where you walk around the halls, checking on the students, shutting down parties if it's too loud, checking on noise complaints. And then at 11 I'm allowed to log off, same thing on the radio, but then I'm on call. I generally just walk around the halls, um, knock on a few flats to see if everyone's okay, but you don't really have to do that, I just like talking to people. <laughs> If there's a fire alarm, then everyone's got to put the hoodies on, so every hour is saved if you're not on duty. Whoever's on duty will radio security and they'll turn up to the site. You've got to evacuate um, everyone from all the flats, and there's like refuge points where people who've got wheelchairs and, well, crutches and stuff, they wait there and then we'll get them down the evac chairs. So when we get to the bottom floor in a fire alarm, um, one hour will come to this flat, there's a disabled student inside, and make sure they get out the front exit. Sometimes they need an evac chair, so it's usually one or two of us doing that. Um, whoever's on duty um, will run straight outside um, to radio security and to also wait for the fire engine and tell them which flats um, have set the fire alarm off. And then there's other, two other RSAs, one will go out the front exit and one will go out the back exit. And then if there's one spare RSA, they'll help me come through the front exit and make sure everyone gets out okay. So on my duty night, at 8 o'clock I'll turn the radio on, which is just this bit at the top. Just wait for the beep. And then I'll log on using this button, which will send me straight to security. Logging on just means that security know that they can get hold of me if there's an incident here or if I need to know an incident at uni that's happening that might end up here. The only reason we really use a radio if there's a noise complaint that gets out of control. Uh, we use it for fire alarms as well. The university know anyway if the fire alarm's been set off because there's little flashing buttons in the office. Have you heard anything about our street? Uh, that's security. <laughs> um, yeah, so during fire alarms, um, I let security know that the fire alarms have been set off so they can get send someone down in the car. And then I log off at 11, same procedure, just say I'm logging off at Central, and then they'll take me off and know that they can't get hold of me this way. And then I'm on call, so they'll get me hold of me on the phone rather than the radio. Why did you want to be an RSA? I needed the money. <laughs> um, well, it's, it's a decent pay. You get like £500 a term off your accommodation, so obviously you're saving your student loan. But at the same time, it's like you meet a lot of new people. I got the opportunity to stay in halls, which is obviously easier than finding a house. I don't mind some sort of problems. Then we've had some quite serious stuff like the robberies. We had an attack outside the accommodation. Obviously, that's not too nice to deal with. But then still after dealing with stuff like that, it's going to help me in future careers because then I can deal with quite serious situations by myself and also with my team. This is Amber at Central logging on. I don't know, noise complaints logging on and then you can feed it into the wall.